Hi, I'm Rob from Hobzine. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time I've got a can of beer from Cloudwater. And this is a can of the Yandaro Imperial Brown Ale. And this is a collaboration with Square Mile Coffee Roasters. So yes, uh, I'll give you the details on the back, so it's 7.5% ABV. It says, this Imperial Brown Ale is our second collaboration with our friends at Square Mile Coffee Roasters for Uppers and Downers, which is a event that go um, Guppy Hunting put on for Uppers and Downers uh, annual coffee and beer festival. Uh, we selected two roast profiles from Yandaro, um, coffee beans from uh, Burundi, with 20 kilogram of uh, hot side steep, and 200, 24 grams in a cold side steep. Um, I, so I, mean, you can't, I can barely read, it's black on, kind of flecks of black. It's not the easiest text to read. Um, addition of slow infused fresh vanilla pods with added complexity and sweetness. So the yeast is WLP um, 095 and JW Lee's yeast strain. So it's a two yeast kind of like what well, they're using, a blend. Um, Bearing hops of Pilgrim Alpha Acid CO to extract, extract the uh, malt are Golden Promise, Flaked Oats, Vienna, Heritage Crystal, Dark Crystal, Brown, and the adjunct is coffee and vanilla. Don't even mention the hops though, they're like. Should we put some hops in it? But I do like coffee beers and I like brown ales. Kind of what I do make some decent brown ales. Sometimes they're a bit on the light side, so an imperial might give it the heft that I've been looking for. So beer in the glass, it's pretty damn black. Is it? It's pretty dark. Wow, that. that's nearly. As, it looks black to me. Still not that brown at all. Um, so the head, nice kind of mid tan. So let's give it a swirl and a sniff. Check out the aroma. Throwing it everywhere. Brilliant. That's lovely. Loads of vanilla, coconut. Yeah, that kind of like dark malt, bringing a um, for me kind of breakfast cereal. It's that all brown. It's brown bread. The coffee is. I'm getting a wheaty note in there. Kind of shredded wheat. It's breakfast cereal, big time for me. Yeah, kind of full fat milk, like gold top. Certain kind of salinity to it, like a. I guess, like a sandstone thing maybe even. The coffee for me, it's got a it's got a chocolatey quality, it's got a a burnt kind of acidity to it. And then there's a, yeah, there's a, a sweeter note to it, it's caramel. So let's dive in. Cheers. Mm, nice amount of body on that. Oh it's lovely. Yeah, that's stunning. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, that's lovely. Um, you're getting that kind of yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say spent coffee grounds, but you know, it's because it's it's got a dryness to it. I guess that's why I'm thinking that. So there's a dryness. There's kind of baking chocolate. There is some kind of cola, kind of like a cheap cola thing going on, like cola cubes. Oddly, if you have those sweets. Brown sugar, yeah, caramel, milk chocolate, yeah, and that kind of wheaty. I mean, if, if we're going to go down branded cereal routes, I'm going shredded wheats and sugar puffs. <laughs> mm. On the back end, you do get a kind of like fruity berry note, hinting towards like cherry. Well, no, no, not cherry, because that leads me on to something else, what I don't like. Um, it's more a hint of black cherry, cranberry, dried strawberry even. But that's lovely. Lovely, lovely stuff. So that is Cloudwater's collaboration with Square Mile Coffee Roasters, which I think are relatively local to Cloudwater. Uh, it's a Yandaro Imperial Brown Ale at 7.5% ABV. Lovely stuff. I'm Rob from Hopsey. I'll see you next time. Cheers.